Actors who took their own life. Hi, I'm Yami. You're watching Hollywood Culture. Jonathan Brandis. American actor Jonathan Brandis started his acting career at the age of six with a soap opera One Life to Live. Jonathan died on the 12th of November 2003. After working in Steven Spielberg's futuristic science fiction series Sequest DSV, he became super popular among teens. During his peak of success, he received approximately 4,000 fan letters every week and was escorted by three studio security guards onto the set of Sequest DSV because of the large number of his female fans. After the show was cancelled, his popularity unfortunately started falling apart. Because of the decline in his acting career, he went into depression, which led him to take his own life by himself at the age of 27. Brad Bufonda American actor Brad Bufonda, who is most popular for his role as Felix Toombs in the television series Veronica Mars, passed away on the 1st of November 2017. He also worked in TV shows like Malcolm in the Middle, CSI Miami, Roseanne, Even Stevens, and Days of Our Lives. Brad jumped from a building at the age of 34. According to Brad's family, he was reviving his career having just completed two movies, and we are shocked and saddened by his passing. Spalding Gray American actor Spalding Gray, famous for his work in movies like Monster in a Box, Swimming to Cambodia, and Spalding Gray, Terrors of Pleasure, passed away on the 11th of January 2004. Gray was severely injured in a car accident while on vacation in Ireland in June of 2001. He broke his hip and fractured his skull during the crash, leaving his right leg almost immobile. Some time after the incident, he developed a severe depression after struggling to recover from his injuries. Spalding died after he jumped into East River. He survived by his wife, Kathleen Russo, and their two children. Benjamin Hendrickson American actor Benjamin Hendrickson, who is best known for his work on the daytime soap opera As the World Turns, where he played the role of Harold Hal Munson Jr., the chief of detectives for the fictional town of Oakdale, passed away on the 3rd of July, 2006. Hendrickson won the Daytime Emmy Award for his performance in As the World Turns. He took his own life, and his body has been found with a to the head. Nine days after his death, Hendrickson's final scenes on As the World Turns were broadcasted on the 12th of July, 2006. Rick Jason American actor Rick Jason is most popular for his work in ABC television drama Combat. Prior to becoming an actor, Rick served in the U.S. Army Air Corps during the World War II. Rick's body was found by his wife with cell shot wounds to the head. He died at the age of 77. At the time of his death, he was living in Moore Park with his wife Cindy after leaving Hollywood, but he was still doing voiceovers for commercials. Stan Kirsch American actor, screenwriter, and director Stan Kirsch, who is best known for his role as Richie Ryan, which he played in Highlander, the series, passed away on the 11th of January 2022. Stan also appeared in shows like Jag, Family Law, and Friends. He started his acting career at the young age of four, where he appeared in some Campbell Soup television commercial. Stan was found dead in his Los Angeles home at the age of 54. According to the police, Stan took his own life hanging. He survived by his wife, Christine Green. Robin Williams Legendary comedian and actor Robin Williams, who is known for his work in hit movies like Aladdin, Jumanji, The Birdcage, Good Will Hunting, and The Night of the Museum Trilogy, passed away on the 11th of August 2014. Williams was the winner of an Oscar as Best Supporting Actor for a supervised performance in Good Will Hunting. Additionally, he received two Primetime Emmy Awards, six Golden Globes, two Screen Actors Guild Awards, and five Grammy Awards. Robin died by himself. His body was found in his California home. According to police reports, William had depression and anxiety. Due to diffuse Louis body dementia, a disease his wife described as the terrorist inside my husband's brain. He survived by his wife, Susan Schneider, and his three children. Michael Montenuto American film actor Michael Montenuto is best known for portraying Olympic ice hockey star Jack O'Callaghan in the 2004 Disney biopic Miracle. 
Michael passed away on the 24th of April 2017. Before his acting life, Michael was a college ice hockey player. He also played small roles in the television movie Dirtbags and in the 2008 comedy film Surfer. After his short acting career, Michael joined the U.S. Army and became an Army non-commissioned officer. Michael took his own life at the age of 35. He was found dead of a gunshot wound in his car. He is survived by his wife, Carrie Gano. Bob Grant, English actor Bob Grant, who is most popular for playing bus conductor Jack Harper in the television sitcom On the Buses, as well as its film spin-off, died on the 8th of November 2003. When On the Buses finished, Bob struggled to find a new role as everybody started seeing him in his on-screen role. He played small in multiple TV shows, but none of them stayed on for a long time, that resulted in him suffering from depression, bipolar disorder. And other mental health problems. Bob took his own life on the 8th of November 2003 by attaching a hose to the exhaust pipe of the fume-filled car in his garage. This was his third attempt at taking his own life. He is survived by his wife Kim Benwell and daughter Charlotte Grant. To keep watching our videos, please subscribe to Hollywood Culture.